So today is Sunday. I've been staying at my sister's house, but I came here this morning because she has a house full of family, and I thought I would come here to take my shower. So I come into the bathroom. Might as well document this before I clean it. First of all, it hasn't been washed out. There's sawdust and crap everywhere. But here's paint on the new tub. We already saw the paint the other day up on the shower head. I know for a fact that the tubs were put in before painting because that's what they've been doing on all of the units, which makes zero sense, obviously. But I get up here to do my shower curtain rod. And look at the top. Let's see if I can get this to focus. This is the top edge. And this is some dust, but it's gobs of, here again, gobs of, I don't know if it's plaster or what it is. Look at this. What a mess. I don't know how these people are even allowed to be in business, much less spending government money. I can't get that to focus very well. All the way along. Just gobbed on here. And then this whole, look at paint here on the tub. More, more stuff, whatever it is here. Nothing cleaned. Just globbed on there. I don't know what the heck's the matter with them. How are you supposed to wipe it down when it's got globs of crap? This is, a, I, I can understand this, how you can see the wall. You can see the opening in the wall back there. So the placement of this, I, I'm sure that showers aren't supposed to have these massive gaps. But you can actually see up on here, you can see the opening to the wall. So that wasn't placed. And then some moron decided, I guess, that you should put the shower curtain in through the tub instead of into the wall. So your shower curtain is going to hang really low. But why mess up the tub when you could have put that into the wall where it used, they used to be up here? I had mine out here and they had one up here, but I mounted it right through the tub frame. Can I imagine if I had enough light? You probably can see the wall through there too. Ah, what a freaking mess. And of course the whole tub is just dirty. They didn't even bother to wipe down anything. It's a real pretty tub, but somebody sure didn't know how to put it in. More gaps down here. I guess I don't know exactly how these fit. I'm sure there's a lip in there, but I don't think they expected that lip to be like this one over here. I mean, you could drive a car through there and see the wall. You can see the you can see the wall back there, a hole. That's going to be a water mess. What a joke. So make sure you never hire Oakwood Construction. Definitely not whoever the architect was. It didn't have a freaking clue what he was doing. Thank God I live alone because you can walk right through the frame there. Other people have, family have put masking tape over theirs to have a private shower unreal this was this was a mess too look at this drywall job well they cut it this wasn't re-drywalled but that's how they cut it and these consistently throughout the house are not even attached but clearly not cleaned no trim 
along the edge there. No trim or caulking along the edge, so that's going to be a water mess leaking. Oh, brother. Well, have a great day. I'm going to see if I can wash my shower so I can have a shower.